College Station, Texas, November 17, 1999. Texas A&M went about business as usual. Thanksgiving and a break from classes just a week away. Students excited about the annual football game between the Aggies and the Texas Longhorns camped out in front of G. Raleigh White Coliseum waiting for tickets. Across campus, the Aggie Bonfire, a 90-year tradition, was in high gear. It was push week, and the students were working shifts to finish the wiring of the stack so that the blaze could go on as scheduled the night before the game. Thursday, November 18th, 2.28 a.m., the unthinkable happened. The stack collapsed with 70 or so students on the stack or around the base. It is a 90-year tradition at Texas A&M, a bonfire preceding the Texas A&M University of Texas football game. More than 7,000 logs are piled up, nearly 60 feet high, to make the bonfire. But this year, the log tower collapsed, killing some students and injuring many more. Tonight, they are still picking an enormous pile of logs apart in the hope that maybe a student under there is still alive. Good evening. This was to have been a big Thanksgiving week at Texas A&M, home of the Aggies, and a storied football tradition. The Aggies were getting ready for their annual game against the University of Texas Longhorns, and in the Lone Star State, it just doesn't get any bigger. But tonight, Texas is in mourning. In College Station, a huge pile of logs set up for the traditional bonfire collapsed. At least eight students are dead. Thursday afternoon, as the news of the tragedy spread across the nation, Aggies joined each other to assist in the recovery and rescue and offer prayers as the search for victims went on. That night, Reed Arena, a time for tears as the Aggie family collectively dealt with the tragic news. No matter how predictable we think life is, none of us knows what the next hour will bring. When we went to bed last evening, none of us thought that tonight we would be consumed with the grief that is now confronting all of us. For the Texas Aggie family everywhere, this, is, this has been a day of unspeakable grief and sorrow. We are all trying to cope with this tremendous loss of life and the pain and suffering. Words are just not adequate to express the deep sympathy and emotions we have on an occasion such as this. All of us cried as we watched our loved ones being removed from the stacks of logs. We prayed that all would be alive, but they were not. We prayed that all of the injuries would be minor, but they were not. We prayed that our agony and our grief would end quickly, but it has not. These students had their lives taken much too soon. This was to be their 90th bonfire. And these students were involved in a tradition that has become a part of being a Texas Aggie. We will remember them as long as there is a Texas A&M and the Aggie spirit is alive. And that, my friends, is forever. The death toll came to 12 by the weekend. Numerous others injured. Monday, November 22nd, the University of Texas canceled its annual A&M Hex Rally and held a candlelight vigil while the lights of the tower were darkened. A&M seniors were preparing for their last game at Kyle Field. Their thoughts never far from the polo fields where the team had helped move logs that fateful day. When something, a tragedy like that happens, it really puts things in perspective. I know people say that, but I mean, that's People lost their lives, you know, I mean, and you take every, I mean, that's the most important thing in this, in this world is a life, and when you lose it, you know, nothing else matters, and, you know, around A&M, we're family, and people say that we really are, I mean, I felt, I don't even know any of those people, I mean, I felt just horrible, I still feel melancholy, I mean, just sadness about them and their families, and, you know, as far as the effect it'll have on the game, I, it's gonna be interesting to see. I don't know. I mean, it's it's just it's like you said. It puts a weird perspective on things, and definitely with football, it takes it takes a you kind of see where football sits after you know such two big rivalries. And the the fact is that they died doing celebrating a tradition. It's you know so grand at A&M, which that's even more of a tragedy. A candlelight vigil was held Thanksgiving night.
and it was on to Kyle Field for Aggie yell practice in lieu of the traditional bonfire. But I, I have, I've been thinking of two different things that we can draw a line to, and that's life, and that's the game. And life is by far more important than a game. And I want us all to remember that here tonight. And we have a challenge on all of us, both in life and at a game tomorrow. We have a challenge in each one of our lives to look for hope and strength and to move on and look at our future after a tough time and tragic week here at Texas A&M. And we'll never forget it. That will never be forgotten. This yell practice is not trying to forget anything. That will always be in our minds as long as the spirit lasts here at Texas A&M. But then I go to the game. I go to the game tomorrow morning. And that's another challenge. And I don't think we should connect those two. Because as, as important as life is and more important than the game, I can tell you this, that game is an important part of every one of our lives. Winning that game tomorrow is an important part of our life. As we stand here tonight and look at our team over here, we got a big challenge tomorrow. Because we got to be in these stands supporting them through thick and thin. And you know what? We got to remember what Bonfire stood for and know what our Aggies were working on it for was to win this game tomorrow. And so as we stand here tonight, I hope we yell louder, we sing our songs louder, and we stand there and hold each other stronger than we ever have. And we just get ready for this game tomorrow. At the end of Yale practice tonight, there's going to be a tribute. It's not a tribute out of sorrow or of grief, but it's a tribute to show that we're never going to forget what has happened here at Texas A&M and that the spirit that that held will always be in our hearts and will never, ever be forgotten. The lights were dimmed, and the A&M cannon fired 12 times. When the Aggie war him ended, the team braced the red pots and brown pots and one special attendee, Chip Thiel, a bonfire survivor who made sure he was out of the hospital in time to attend the special yell. Game day was a clear, cool day in College Station. The events of the past week still on everyone's mind. Former President George Bush and his son, Governor George W. Bush, were on hand as the Corps marched into Kyle Field. A moment of silence following the invocation was broken 
as four F-16s flew over the stadium in the missing man formation. A tribute to the fallen Aggies. Twelve white doves were released as the spirit of Aggieland echoed. The game was upon us, and all eyes shifted to the field to watch as Texas A&M ready to kick off to their traditional rivals. I'll flip it in the air. You call it in the air. If I fail to catch it, we'll do it over. You call it tail. Tails. It's head. We we'll defer. We we'll defer. 86,000, a record attendance for any football game ever in the state of Texas, as well as in the Big 12. The state of Texas, known for its love of family and the game of football, bound by its grief, it was more than a game.